How's it going everybody? If you're new to the channel because you were looking up this particular issue, my name is The Razman and today we're here to solve a problem that comes from utilizing OBS and utilizing the Sony Vegas Pro. However, I heard that black screen is a common issue, so if you're just looking up black screen in general, go ahead and watch this tutorial because this very solution might fix your problem. But if you're using OBS to record your webcam or any of your gameplay or tutorial footage and you're finding that you're getting a black screen in your preview window when you go to edit inside Sony Vegas Pro, this will fix your problem. And I'm going to show you how. Today, on the Razman's Reality. Alright, so the only negative to utilizing OBS to make tutorial videos is that I have to look at my screen in full with the Sony Vegas program, so I am not, and my monitor in general, so I'm not able to actually see my face as you are seeing it on camera, so I apologize in advance if I make any weird faces or give any weird face positioning. And if you've tried to make a tutorial, with OBS in the past, but haven't been able to show your cursor, that's because you're using a video capture instead of a display capture. You want to make sure that you choose display capture when recording your monitor and right underneath it you will see show cursor. So, here's how we solve this very annoying but very simple to fix issue but first for those that don't know what the issue is i've set sony vegas up where the problem will be duplicated so we're going to grab a quick piece of raw footage that i recorded for purposes of this tutorial from my camera roll folder drag it in go to a random spot in the video and there you see that you have the problem. You see the video clearly is in the video track. The audio clearly has been recorded inside the audio track, but the preview window is blank. You cannot see anything. So how do we solve this problem? And all of this involves left clicking with your mouse. By the way, there is no right clicking involved. So very simply, we just go up to options. Go down to Preferences, click inside the Video tab, and right here where you see GPU Acceleration of Video Processing, and I have my graphics card selected, I simply want to turn that off. Click Apply, click OK, shut Vegas Pro down, you're going to get a very, oh sorry, I got to click OK in here too, I forgot about that. Then we shut Vegas Pro down. You're going to get a very weird looking thing of me recording a black screen and the way that OBS looks when there's nothing recording from a display capture for a second, but I'll relaunch Vegas as quickly as possible. And we drag it in. Pick a random start point. There we go. There is the video. And now you can edit properly. Now, the fear that you're probably going to have by seeing this video unfold is doesn't turning off GPU acceleration also mean that when I go to render, I'm not going to be using my graphics card, which is a particular problem if I don't have any onboard video 
capturing capability at all if I am using a custom built computer. Well worry not, that is a non-issue. Utilizing your graphics card when rendering is done inside your render settings. And likelihood is, if you're watching a tutorial like this, it means you already have experience with the program and have already set that up perfectly fine. So as long as you don't change that, you will be able to edit the same way you always have and render the same way you always have. So I hope this solves your problem. Any further questions, please feel free to contact me via social media at Razman's Reality on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram or The Razman on Facebook, Razman's Reality 1 due to an email, error on Snapchat, or simply hit me up in the comment section down below. And remember that life is only as awesome as you live it, so live it well.